people right now, which none of them, none of you, hakuna mtu ametupatia clear plan what we supposed to do or what is supposed to be done to change anything. What we need to to and I mean, I'm, I'm not that clever to be fair. See, just so much, you know, I am very, not very good in articulating things or convincing people in doing things. So, mutu inatakio watu kaza, mutu inatakio watu kaza, ambaye wanawezi wa, 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 wa kufanya hizi vitu long term. Wafanya vitu, yani wakikishi, yani kama ata mnukumisha uwa mtu moja ambaye, kama hii mambu inashindikana sasa hivi, 2027, kama muneza pata opposition moja mzuri, kama hui morara mnaweza mtrain ama mtuine mzuri mnaweza mtrain ambaya na akili ni maona vijana wengi sana hapa hivi katienu ambayo to, to be fair very very bright kids you know young people no, no kids young people like you know 20 to, to, to 30 years old very very clever <laughs> people I've seen them in here uh, nimesikiza nime opinion yao opinion zao ni very good ni watu hawana disinformation of, or misinformation of pro, or propaganda or even unajua so please mnatakikana mufikirie hizi vitu you think long term wacha nini na short term peke yake think plan b long term what is going to happen who are we going to, to nominate after this yeah after this sana kwa kuongeza maneno yenu nyie naye thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, guys, anytime unasikia nikikuuliza umetoka wapi? Sometimes tunataka anga tuna feel ground yako nyume toka. We are, we are not fools hosting these platforms. And uh, we are not, we are not only hosting. By the way, mimi nimetoka si siogopi hata kusema mahali mimi nimetoka. Sometimes sisi tukihost hizi platform huko yeah. atuko maeneo yes, flani yeah. i said we ni kabila flani eh yeah. and it's good tunajua yeah. that the ground ta, ma, ma yeah. tafauti yeah. tafauti you know you cannot yes africa now nzuri sana matsani mko salama kabisa yeah kabisa yeah. sasa mimi nimesikiliza hii mjadala kidogo hebu acha nichangie na yangu ni wakati wako Ah sasa wacha nikwambie kwanza tuna changamoto sana katika hii nchi yetu ya Kenya. Na shida mimi naona inatokana na wa Kenya. Kwa sababu gani ninasema hivi? Kuna wakati huyu huyu minister alikuwa anaitwa Murkomer. Anaitwa nani? Hebu mu ni correct kidogo. Siku ile walitolea wote hao ma ministers wote mnakumbuka Gen Z walileta shida waka toile and Unakumbuka siku ile parliament waliingia hawa jenzis si mm-hmm. walikuto alikuja akaondoa hiyo ma ministers akarudi tena kuchagua huyu minister alikuwa anaitwa Murkomen mm-hmm. unakumbuka vile alifanya akijigamba akasema belt yangu ni milioni kadhaa ni laki kadhaa siju na ilirudisha nani alisababisha huyo jamaa kurudisha ni sisi wa Kenya kwa sababu ya ukabila unajua kama tungekuwa pamoja Kenyans all mimi ninasema hivi Kenyans wenyewe raia bado wana ile ukabila ya kusema mimi nimetoka mahali fulani wacha huyu yangu arudishwe pale wacha sijui nani yangu unajua hatuna ile umoja leo tungekuwa na ile umoja nadhani tungefanya kitu kimoja lakini wewe kama huyu kijana sasa hivi anapenda sana kutetea nchi yetu anapenda alipigwa hata kwa nini amepigwa si kwa sababu ya ukabila ndugu yangu huyu m- m- anaitwa Morara si alipigwa kwa sababu ya ukabila sisi hatuko pamoja ni waelezeni ukweli tungekuwa kitu kimoja wallahi sisi leo tungeamua tungefanya ile kitu tunahitaji na ingetendeka action speaks louder than words lakini tumegawana huyu eh, ma- ma- makamu wa rais Gashagwa aliongelea mambo nyingi kuhusu milima na kusema kweli katika Kenya yetu tangu zamani tunajulikana kwa sababu ya ukabila. Gashagwa kama ameongelea mambo ya milima Kenya, milima Kenya kwanza makabila zote wako pale 47 yote. Na mimi ni mama msomali, wacha nikwambie mzaliwa hapa, mimi babangu amezikwa Nyeri. Mimi nimezaliwa Isielo. Mama yangu amezaliwa Naivasha, ame Kenya. Lakini kitu inatendeka katika hii nchi yetu ya Kenya, ndugu yangu sisi ndio tumejidet down. Tungekuwa na ile umoja ulimwengu huyo kama jenzisi wali try jenzisi kwanza hawana ukabila ile watu wana ukabila ni watu wazima 
hao watu leo wa wako kwenye bunge kila moja juzi alisema huyu jamaa aimpitiwe kila moja mpaka Farah Farah Ali ni jamaa msomali lakini tribalism amelid alisema mimi ningekuwa rais wa Kenya mimi ni mama msomali ndasifichi chochote kwa sababu this is my country sina mahali pa kukimbilia sina mahali ya kukimbilia na sina mahali ya yani nitoke Kenya niende mahali mengine mimi nimezaliwa hapa na nitazikwa hapa ninasema ukweli katika Kenya kitu imetumaliza ndugu yangu hii mawaziri hao watu ya bunge wote kila mmoja wote wanayo kabila tusikatai tusikatai Farah Maali ndio namba 1 acha nikwambie mimi ni mama msomali alisema mimi ningekuwa president ningeua wa vijana hamsini pa day huyo mtu ni kiongozi sio kiongozi mtu kama hiyo wallahi ni mzuri kungole hata kama ni mtoto yako tuseme is my brother na huyu mtu ni jamaa msomali mwenzangu sikupenda ile kitu amesema kwa sababu kama ni mkenya hangesema kitu kama hii ili ni uzi sana na gashagwa kama ameongelea mambo ya milima Kenya yeye sio peke yake na binadamu sisi hakuna nobody is perfect hakuna mtu ile msafi kila moja ana dhambi lakini vile wameingia kwenye hiyo parliament hao watu wameenda mpaka kwa senate inaonekana kabisa hii watu wa Kenya wale wako kwenye hii bunge wale tumechagua ndio wanatutenganisha na wengi katika raia yetu mimi nimewapatia example ya Murkomer kwa nini Murkomer amerudisha nani amerudisha watu yake walisema walisema jamani tunataka huyo mtu yetu arudishwe alisaidia nini wa Kenya watu wangapi angalia vijana yetu leo wamejaa katika nini Kenya Kinyata Conference Center wakitafutana na kazi yeye akisema watch yangu ni sijui ni laki tatu belt yangu wangapi leo Kenya hawana kazi vijana mimi nauliza hiyo ni swali. Mimi ni mama. Mimi ni mama ninasikia uchungu. Mimi ni mama msomali. This is my country watching my business. Mama niko na kwako. Mama niko na swali kwako. Niulize baba. Mnaweza wewe ukiwa kama mama unaweza kusaidia je kufikisha hii ujumbe yenye sisi vijana tunasukuma huku kwa mitandao ifikie wa mama wenzio? Sasa wacha nikwambie kwanza mimi ni mama. Pili mimi ni mwanaharakati. Mimi ni mzaliwa isielo mambo nyingi sana ninaongelea unaona kama hii kijana anaitwa nani Morara huyu mm. kijana alitukuta mpaka Isiolo kuna baadhi ya wa Kenya Isiolo pale walitaka kumpiga na nani alitumia hawa watu ni governor wa Isiolo huyo jamaa anaitwa Ibrahim Ibrahim Hassan Kayole ndio alituma hawa vijana akasema pigeni huyu mtu kwa sababu anasema ukweli na leo katika nchi yetu ukisema kweli wallahi hutalala one day utalala na mlishuhudia hata nini wako wapi vijana wetu kina Rex na wenzake wako wapi wangapi wamekidapiwa na maiti wanakuja kupatikana maiti ndio mimi nasema Kenya wallahi hata tufanye nini na huyu mtu ameona weakness yetu this president our president ile tumechagua wallahi na akachukua hiyo biblia tukafata hiyo biblia sisi kwa sababu mimi ni mama muislamu na nimesoma missionary school nimeona dini yetu sisi wote tunaabudu mwenye alichukua ya biblia ndio kila mtu aliamini huyu mtu lakini alitufanya nini ndugu yangu na sahi ameona witness yetu na huyu mtu atarudi whether you like or not Ruto will come back kwa sababu ameona weakness yetu ameona tunagawana ule mtu kidogo akiongea kidogo anazimwa mwingine akiongea kidogo anapatiwa pesa ananyamazishwa hata nyinyi mnajua hiyo kwa hivyo mimi ninasema nini tunaweza fanya mama sisi tutoe kwa hebu tuambie Tufanye nini tutoe Ruto na watu yake ya Kenya kwanza? Sasa wacha nikwambie. Kwanza hii nchi yetu ya Kenya wallahi bila ni mahali moja ni kama huyu mtu ametumwa. Mimi nimekaa chini nikaona huyu mtu ame <laughs> sijui nani ametume mimi sijui. Sijui anataka kutuharibia nchi, anataka binada ile maandamano kidogo uliona watu vile walikufa. Mengi ilituharibia na sisi hatutaki kufika pale. Hatutaki nchi yetu iharibike ikuwe kama Sudan ikuwe kama Mogadishu leo hawana nchi wana mabendera mia moja ni Somalis juzi nimeona wame wacha nikwambieni wallahi unajua sisi tunabebaga tunabebaga dhambi ya wasomali wengine tunabebaga dhambi ya wasomali wengine wacha juzi nimeona ile mama aliuliwa na watoto wake wawili 
watu walibeba bendera ya Somalia tuko Somalia ama tuko tuko Somalia ama tuko Kenya sasa mnaweza ku differentiate hamwezi na mimi sitaki nchi yetu iharibike ikuwe kama Sudan na Somalia na Syria na Yemen hatutaki ifike hiyo mahali huyu mtu ametusoma nani anatupiga wacha ni kwambi ni nani anatumaliza ni watu wa bunge angalia Raila Odinga kila miaka anapiga kura anapita ananyang'anywa anarudi watu wanafanya maandamano watu wanauawa angalia ile baby pendo wangapi walikufa kuna mama alikosa vijana yake wawili pa, suku moja wote walikufa kwa sababu ya Raila na alikuja akafanya nini ndugu yangu kwa vijana yangu alikuja kufanya nini si amerudi kwa Ruto angalia huyu 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 anaitwa nani hii watu wa ODM wengi walirudi pale huyu jamaa anaitwa nani msomali huyu anaitwa Junet Mohamed alisema nini Sini. Kenya kila mtu anataka kazi hata mimi ningemambiwa ukuja upate kazi hata mimi ningerudi pale sasa mimi nashangaa tukimbilia wapi walai it is yani ni kitu nzito sana ni nzito sana ni nzito na ninajua jenzisi wakiamuka ndugu yangu Kenya damu nyingi itamwagika na mambo nyingi itatuharibikia na mimi nakataa Kenya yetu kuna watu walikufa Kenyata alifungwa wengi walikufa hata wengine alikuwa hawaziki walikuwa wanachimbio trata wanawekwa kumi kumi ndani ya kaburi unaona lakini leo hatu, hatutaki kurudi ile pale kwa sababu Ruto alitukuta nchi yetu ikiwa na raha kibaki alikuja kila mtu anajua nchi ilikuwa very peaceful njaa hakuna mimi niliona mama moja isielo i swear alipatia watoto wake prison kwa sababu ya njaa tutakimbilia governor ule unamchagua anakuja anachuma baada we unasema ametoka kwa dirisha yangu huyu ni mlango yangu huangalie vile watu wanaishia Kenya inasemekana watu wabaya wanapataka viongozi mbaya kwa dini ya Kiislamu Qur'an inasema watu wabaya wanapataka kiongozi mbaya kwa hivyo mimi ninaona baadhi ya wakenya jinsi swache niwaambie msikufe watoto yangu mulikufa mpaka wa mama leo mama amekosa mtoto yake kila akikumbuka ile picha halali anakumbuka ile mtoto tumba ya mama mimi najua kwa sababu mimi ni mama mimi ningesema hivi na huyu mtu atarudi whether you like or not he will come back tayari mliona kitu ilitendekaga kinyata conference center siku ile watu walikuwa wanapatiwa 1700 ya alikuwa inahusika na nini ni kura hata leo mbona anatuma vijana wetu sijui Qatar sijui anatuma wao sasa ile anakaribisha outsiders ndani ya nchi yetu kama hii airport A, kazi nani atachukua kazi pale si outsiders yetu anatuma wapi anatuma nje jamani simjiulize mambo kama hii ni nini inaendelea Kenya eh hapo mtu anasema oh Murko Merni kijana yetu ametufa Saile Jenzis walikufa pale. Saile yeye anajigamba bwana. Anasema belti yangu ni elfu laki saba. E, sijui na, nini yangu ni laki tano. Mashinani watu wanakufa njaa. Vijana wengi wamesoma masatifiki tiko ndani ya sanduku ya mama. Wameingia kwa dawa ya kulevia. Wengine wanaenda alishabab. Nini ina, inasababisha watoto waende hivi? Kwa sababu ya njaa. Ruto hana huruma na sisi. Ruto hana huruma na wakenya jamani. Afrika umenena kweli you still in the head um but there is one thing that I have kuna kitu nataka nisema Afrika niwaambie hawa harakati wetu hao wenye tunatuongoza let i just tell these young people if we have to reform this country kwa maoni yangu ndio tukate hao watu ambao wametuzuia kwa ufizadi kwa nini yote let us as a mass Let's go to anti-corruption and deal with those guys direct one on one so that we paralyze this money these people have which have come and used to look, do, to mislead our people let's deal with all oh, these arms one by one if it is a judiciary let's go to judiciary if it's an anti-corruption let's deal with anti-corruption itself it's Yes. Yes. Hata ya mkorafu ni hawa tu. Hatuna kotini, hatuna kotini. Hatuna kitu kufanya hii Kenya. Hatuna judiciary, hatuna judiciary, hatuna kitu kufanya. Zote ziko compromised. Zote ni rupo. Zote ni kitu. That's why, that's why I'm telling you this way. When we come to this number of corruption here, scan kwambia Afrika. Scan kwambia Afrika. If we have to deal with the anti-corruption, 
we deal with the chairperson himself in person because he's not delivering his duty kama itawezekana twende baka kwake as a mass we mobilize ourselves we go there kwake to deal with him individually ndio mtu ambaye anakuja kuingia pale atajua kwamba wanainji wanatuelekeza kwa macho so that we can cut this thing once and for all kama hii kama hii and corruption ndio shida tuone hiyo ofisi ya and corruption watoke naona by all means akitaka kulanda kila mahali tunaenda in mass we tunatangaza kwa hiyo county ukiona mtu and corruption yote to deal there accordingly I think that's my my opinion I can say. Sasa sasa. Mm. Itule mimi ninasema anti corruption ni mm. serikali. Makotini hatuna. Mtu ameua, ameiba, kesho unasikia amewachiliwa. Sasa walai tusijisumbue. Sisi tumekuwa kama empty teams. Empty teams tunapiga kile. We are empty teams really zikatai. Zikatai. We were trying to bring that the Rwanda African people tuko tunataribu kusema kwamba we have to make a mass uh, demonstration whereby we uh, alert our people about our resources. The first way we can alert our people about our resources is through we enlighten enlight them about the corruption that is going on. And who is dealing with this corruption? It's the anti-corruption board, isn't it? And the anti-corruption board we have the ODPB and all those people, the judiciary and whatever. Na kama itabidi to deal now watu kama akina kwamba afanye kazi yake kama ODPB afanye kazi yake kama anti-corruption afanye kazi yake if you can go according to an an uh, body to a body I think this thing we shall eliminate but when we deal with the all relevant we can manage to deal with the all relevant but you can start by eating the legs eating the ears the nose then we shall go to the big elephant right now after we have paralyzed the other, the other body but but when we hit the all relevant we can manage watch it tafadhali munisikilize kidogo kidogo tu please alafu mimi nitoke ninaomba kitu moja mimi kama mama msomali naomba munisambazie hii sauti yangu tafadhali nataka kuambia wasomali nataka kuambia wasomali wasituletee sisi shida wasilete mabendera ya kutoka Somalia wabebe hapa Kenya if they are somalis kama hawa ni wakimbizi wakae na adabu and if they are somalis why to bring ya nini kuleta bendera nyingine isli Nataka kuambia those Somalis wale wanabebana na hii flag. Kama wewe ni msomali unabebe hiyo flag. Rudisha Mogadishu. Tubaki kisisi Kenya kama wa Kenya. Wasituletee sisi shida. Sisi tumeolewa na wakikuyu, tumeolewa na wakalinjin. Sisi ni wazaliwa hapa. Those people wanabebana na flags. Aki naomba munisambazie sauti. Hiyo flag yenu warudishe Mogadishu watu pate sisi tusichapwe tusiharibiwe sifa kwa sababu ya Somalia wale wanabebana na flag ya Somalia sisi tunajua flag ya Kenya hatujui ya Somalia That is my voice mimi nimekasirika sana kuona jana jana wanabebana na flag blue flag blue kwani hiyo flag blue imetoka wapi hiyo flag blue ni ya Somalia sisi kama sisi ni wa Somalia ya Kenya tunatambua bendera ya Kenya e, Mungu nguvu yetu ndio tunajua hiyo hatujui hiyo flag wanaleta sili wasituletee sisi shida alikuwa tunakaa Kenya na amani we are Kenyans tumesoma na wa Kenya tumelala domtri na watoto wa Kenya mkikuyu ni jirani yangu mkisi ni jirani yangu jirani yangu ndio kila kitu flag hiyo tumekata kama sisi ni wa Kenya wa Somali Kenya Somali sijui ile wanatuitanga we are Somali Kenyata we are not from Mogadishu tubebane na hiyo flag blue no kama wa wanajijua they are from Somalia carrying that blue flag go back to Mogadishu usituletee shida wazazi wetu wamezikwa Kenya babu mpaka babu Eh tunajua e eh, Mungu nguvu yetu ile tie baraka kwetu ndio tunajua. Tafadhali naomba munisambasie hiyo sauti. Tribalism we don't want. Mkenya mkikuyu akikufa majirani ni nenda kumzika. Mkisi jirani yangu akikufa nenda kumzika naye analizika. Wa Somali pelekeni hiyo tribalism yenu huko na mfatane na Farah Maalim mwenye alisema atamaliza ata vijana ya wakenya angekuwa ange president hapa no 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 you know, mama not so much mama no 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 condemn those who did that act but not don't condemn everyone eh? 
I'm not condemning Farah Mahalim hiyo sio siri alisema ningekuwa president ningeua wa vijana hamsini. Is he not a Kenyan? Is he not a Kenyan? Saila anasema hivi. Saila wa mama alikuwa wanalia vijana wameuawa pale parliament. Hakusikii ya uchungu. Mimi nataka kuuliza Farah Mahalim alitoka nchi gani Saila alikuwa mimi ni mama msabali nilisikia vibaya kina Rex wakiuliwa. I cried. Na nimesema hivi wallahi na sio siri eh kama alikuwa mkenya hangeongea hiyo luka usiende mbali mama i'm feeling so pain tulia tu hapo usiende mbali tutakupa tu nafasi nyingine ya kuongea tulia tu hapo